So time to continue with our bit manipulation playlist to depot that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is single number. So what does the problem state? It states that you will be given a nums array where every number will be appearing twice. Every number will be appearing twice except for one element. So if you carefully look, this element is appearing once, one is appearing twice, two is appearing twice. So all the elements will appear twice, only one element will appear once. You'll have to return me that element. So if this particular problem comes up in an interview, what is the brute force that you can think of? Like the, I'll not, I'll not get into that uh, for loop brute force. Really the brute force that I can think of is, I will be taking a map data structure yes and then i'll be looping across so i'll start the looping from the first element so the first element is four so i'll put that into the map and i'll store the count so the count is one i'll go to the next element and again put that into the map and i'll store the count i'll again go to the next i'll put it into the map and store the count i'll go to the next which is one so i'll increase the count i'll again go to the next which is two i'll increase the count once the traversal is completed, I'll again start traversing. Yes, I'll again start traversing. Now you can either traverse in the array or you can either traverse in the map itself. So if you traverse in the map itself, you'll find out that there is an element which is appearing once and that element is four. So you can straight away return that particular element. So if I have to write down the code, it's going to be very simple. You'll be defining a map which is going to store an integer, comma integer. And then you can loop across all the elements of, maybe I'll just write it as i equal to zero till n minus one, which is where n is the number of elements. And then you can go across to the map and you can take the element nums of i and you can do a plus plus. Once that is done, what you can do is, now you can go across that map so you can traverse in the map again depending on your programming language i'll be writing this in c plus plus like a pseudo code in c plus plus you can do an iterator in the map and then you can say that okay if the value because assume it's a key or value so in c plus plus technically uh this is the first and this is the second in Java, I think it is key and value. So depending on whatever language uh, you're using, you can just run through that map and you can say if that is equal to one, which means it is appearing once, you can straight away return it dot first, where first is the key or it will be key, again, depending on your language, and then you can complete it. So this will be your brute force. If I talk about the time complexity, very simple, assuming the map is taking logarithmic of n. You can take an unordered map as well. In C++, it will be taking a big O of 1, depending on your programming language. The complexity of map will be defined. I've discussed uh, this in depth in the hashing lecture. Go back and watch it. So this will be uh, n into logarithmic of the size of the map, assuming the size of the map to be log m. Again, you're iterating in the map, assuming the size of the map to be M. Yes, that's it. So technically, I can say the overall complexity will be N into logarithmic of M plus a big O of M, where M is the size of the map. And what will be the size of the map? If you carefully observe, you had five elements, right? And you had nearly three in the map, somewhere near about N by two, somewhere near about n by 2 because most of the elements are appearing twice. There is only one element that appears once. So m is n by 2 plus 1 because there is one element that appears once. So yeah, that will be the time complexity. What about the space complexity? Can I say the space complexity will be big O of m because I'm storing everything in the map where m is n by 2 plus 1. Yes, this will be the time complexity and the space complexity. So the interviewer will not be happy with the first one because we are using an external map data structure. So what I will try to do is, I'll try to think it in terms of bitwise because we know one thing, we know one thing, 
in zor if i take two same numbers if i take two same numbers a a zor a is zero because it cancels off each other so can i say if i do the zor of all the elements doesn't like the order doesn't matter if i do the zor of all the elements it has something like 4 zor 1 zor 2 zor 1 zor 2 right can i say can i say this two and this two if i clap them together probably i can so that will be two zor two this one and this one i can clap them together because it is bit wise everything happens in the bit so you can clap them together and then there's a four so can i write something like this probably yes and can i say this will be zero this will be zero it will be four zor zero zor zero or which is technically the number four yes it is because all the numbers are appearing twice so all of them all of them will get cancelled to zero when you do a zor and it'll be left out with the number that appears once very simple so what i can do is i can simply take let's say zor equal to 0 and i can start iterating from 0 till the last index and what i can do is i can say zor equal to zor of nums of i simple and at the end of the day i can return the zor because that is going to be my element correct so what will be the time complexity very simple the time complexity will be big o of n and the space complexity will be big o of 1 and this will be your optimal solution so if you are still now watching i hope you have understood everything and if that is the case please do consider giving us a like and if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing to us as well with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some of the video till then bye bye take care